In other words, all things exist through God's expressing to us through a spirit that it's possible to live as free as the birds, that it is possible for God's spirit to remake us so that we experience the simplicity and the trustfulness of children again, so that we experience again the liberation and the freedom and the exhilaration of soaring swallows, that it is possible to express the, experience the cleanness and the freshness of the waves on the Hawaii beaches. It is possible to express and experience again the exhilaration of salmon that leap in the waters. It is possible because the same Holy Spirit that enables them to act like that way is available to us, really. And that the reason we're so heavy and burdensome is because we're living like the people on the bus. We're spending all our time and all our energies and all our thoughts on how to make the life on the bus, which is not at all our home, as comfortable and pleasant as we can. Instead of spending all our energies trusting the dear Father to take us wherever he wants us to go in our lives and concentrating on doing what he has made us to do, whether it pays us or whether it doesn't pay us. And the Holy Spirit is constantly speaking to all of us those things. So even old Auden's, you know, in, in headaches and in worry, Vaguely, life leaks away. Even those headaches and worry are God's dear spirit trying to say to us, there's a better way. If you trust me, the Holy Spirit, and you begin to take me as your friend and begin to take me as the Lord and the master of your life, and begin to think what I guide you to think and do what I guide you to do, you'll begin to live like the freshest part of God's creation. Through him are all things. And of course, the real reason for our whole existence is in that final preposition. It's the Greek word ice. Ice out on. To him onto him, and possibly even into him. That's why we're here on earth. For that Spirit of God, so to begin to mold our own lives and our characters that we are fit to live in heaven with our dear Father and his Son. That's it. That's it. He made us to be his friends to live with him forever in an infinite universe that has more exhilaration and more beauty in it than we have ever touched. That's why God made us, that we would live with him in friendship and in love. And it's interesting that the Greek word can mean into him. Not that we would be absorbed and lose our individuality as the Middle Eastern religions would have it, but that we would be involved intimately with him. We would come into him and be part of him and yet retain our own individuality and in that way express more of his glory in more diverse ways. That's why we're here, loved ones. It really is a veil, a veil of soul-making. It is. And this world is not our home. We are just a passing through. And the bus is going somewhere. And we have just a very short span of life. Most of us just about 70 years to let the Holy Spirit of God that holds everything in existence begin to remake us so that we become like his son Jesus and begin to live that free life that he lived. And that's why we're here.